Sir, if Donald Trump loses the election today, should he concede? We've seen that within the last decade in this country. Right, I but think it's a yes or no question, sir. I mean, should he concede or should he not? Welcome back. Thanks for watching. I hope that you've all voted or are going to vote later today. And I hope that even if you hate Trump, that you've held your nose and voted to save the republic. Because the Democrats have made it well known at this point that they're moving on from our constitutional republic in favor of our democracy. Today, during a CNN interview with Vivek Ramaswamy, known Democrat and Kamala Harris shill Casey Hunt asked the often asked and totally loaded question if Republicans will accept the election results and will Trump concede if he loses? Of course, it's loaded because Democrats are never asked this question, despite the fact they've denied the results of every election they've lost in the 21st century. Sir, if Donald Trump loses the election today, should he concede? Look, I think that one commitment I think Republicans can make is if Donald Trump loses this election and Kamala Harris becomes the president, God forbid in my case, I'm not rooting for that outcome. Republicans are not going to launch some type of multi-year investigation that impedes the first two years of her presidency with false allegations of foreign election interference. We've seen that within the last decade in this country. Right, I but think it's a yes or no question, sir. I mean, should he concede or should he not? No, 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 go past this. Pass this part. In fact, never play this again. I think whoever wins the election should win the election and whoever loses should concede. But the fact of the matter is, when we look at the last 10 years, in case you and I both understand the subtext of this question, there's been this, I think, brewed up concern that I think is really designed, I think, in many ways to mislead voters about what's happened in the last 10 years. Misleading voters. There's I mean, people exactly, attack the Capitol to try to interrupt the process may, of certifying may, the last election. If, if I may finish, if I may just finish my point, that's no doubt been talked the January 6th issue has been talked about ad nauseum. What hasn't is the fact that the presidency was actually undermined by Donald, by Kamala Harris and the Democrats, the Democratic Party that Kamala Harris is a part of. For the first two years of Donald Trump's presidency on allegations of a false Russia collusion hoax that was disproven. So what do we want this time around? We want a free, fair election where the winner is decisively decided. Americans can then move forward as a country behind that. Whichever candidate wins, I'm looking forward to that happening for the country, and I'm hoping that's Donald Trump tonight. And if it's going to be a fair and free election, the answer is absolutely I will. She is just insufferable. The moment that Vivek legitimately calls out the Democrats and by proxy the media for not accepting Trump's election and launching the operation to delegitimize it, she instantly falls back on my January 6th, which is another distraction from the fact that Democrats rioted after they lost in 2000 and even attacked Bush's motorcade, which caused it to speed off from the inauguration. You can see that unblurred clip on my X profile right now. They did the exact same thing after losing in 2016 during Trump's inauguration, injuring police, yet having all their charges dropped. Those riots continued for the next four years, and yet Casey Hunt only asks Republicans if they will accept election results. Okay. She's a lunatic. I know, she's a total lunatic. Jamie Raskin said on Bill Maher this past Friday that they will only accept the election results if it's fair. They will support a free and fair election. No, we're not going to allow them to steal it in the states, or if it's a free and fair election, we will do what we We've always okay. done. We will honor it. A human. <laughs> they never think it's fair when they lose. Yet the country is being propagandized to remove that inconvenient part of history. Does anyone watching this think that CNN will accept Trump as a legitimate president if he wins? Not a chance. That's my job to push back against these revisionist history attempts by our media and hopefully deprogram the country a few thousand views at a time. If you'd like to support this channel, you can sponsor me on Patreon. You can support my sponsors like C60 Evo, or just shoot me a tip on PayPal. You can also just hit that like button and subscribe, which I deeply appreciate. Thanks for watching. Keep checking back for more.